Thomas Palaiologos or Palaiologos was despot in Moria from 1428 until the Ottoman conquest in 1460. After the desertion of his older brother to the Turks in 1460, Thomas Palaiologos became the legitimate claimant to the Byzantine throne, a claim he maintained during his exile in Italy. Life Thomas Palaiologos was the youngest surviving son of the Byzantine Emperor Manuel II Palaiologos and his wife Helena Dregoa. His maternal grandfather was Constantine Dregoa. His brothers included the Byzantine emperors John VIII Palaiologos and Constantine XI Palaiologos, as well as Theodore II Palaiologos and Demetrios Palaiologos, despots of the Moria, and Andronikos Palaiologos, despot of Thessalonica. As youngest son, Thomas was never expected to reign, but his children became the only surviving heirs of the defunct Palaiologan dynasty. Like other imperial sons, Thomas Palaiologos was made a despot, and from 1428 joined his brothers Theodore and Constantine in the Moria. After the retirement of Theodore during 1443, he governed together with Constantine, until the latter became emperor during 1448. Thomas remained despot of the Moria, but was forced to share the rule with his older brother Demetrios beginning 1449. The Byzantine possessions in Moria had expanded considerably at the expense of the Latin principality of Achaea. After the last war during 1430 virtually the entire peninsula was ruled by the Byzantines, and Thomas married Catherine Zocaria, the daughter of the last prince of Achaea Centurion II Zocaria, succeeding to his father-in-law's possessions during 1432. After this period of success, the fortunes of Byzantine Moria decreased, as the collegiate government by several brothers caused increasing confusion. This became especially serious after the arrival of Demetrios, who had a pro-Ottoman policy as opposed to Thomas' pro-Western orientation. From 1447 the despots had become vassals of the Ottoman Sultan. At the beginning of the siege of Constantinople by Mihamd II of the Ottoman Empire, an Ottoman army was sent with orders to raid in the Moria, preventing help from being sent to the city. After the conquest of Constantinople by Mihamd II on May 29, 1453, to maintain the status quo, the Sultan ordered the two brothers to continue as joint rulers of Moria. This order had been accepted for the first two years because of the Kantakazenos family's revolt which started during the siege of Constantinople by Demtrisi Kantakazenos' grandchild Manuel. Only during the next year did the forces of the Palaiologos brothers destroy the rebel forces. In these circumstances, and without Constantine XI to maintain peace in the family, Thomas sought Western aid against both the Ottomans and his pro-Ottoman brother Demetrios. He allied with Republic of Genoa and the Pope, and defeated Demetrios, who fled seeking help from the Ottomans during 1460. The Ottoman army duly attacked Moria and quickly breached a hexamillion wall across the Isthmus of Corinth, which was too long to be effectively manned and defended by Thomas' forces. Thomas escaped with his family to Italy, where he had already been recognized as the legitimate heir to the Byzantine Empire by the Pope. The commanders of the garrisons of the fortified cities in Moria, deserted by their rulers, chose individually whether to fight or surrender, depending on their own will and circumstances. During 1460 in the final battle of the Roman Empire in its Byzantine incarnation, Graetzas Palaiologos, the commander of Samnico Castle, defeated Mihamd II, who after a month of siege returned home. During the next year Graetzas received an offer to become general of the Republic of Venice, which he accepted, thus leaving Samnicos to the Ottomans. Imperial heirs, after the conquest of Moria, Thomas lived in Rome, recognized throughout Christian Europe as the rightful emperor of the East. To create greater support for his situation Thomas changed his religion to Roman Catholicism during his last years of life. After his death in 1465, the position of rightful Byzantine emperor was inherited by his older son Andreas Palaiologos, born in Mistra around 1453. Mihamd II conquered the empire of Trebizond, de facto the last free territory of the ancient Roman state, during the year 1461. Nevertheless, Mihamd had already proclaimed himself Roman emperor upon capturing Constantinople. In an effort to reunite the Catholic Church and the Orthodox Church, Pope Paul II arranged during 1472 a marriage between the Catholic daughter of Thomas, 
Zoe Palaiologina, and Grand Prince Ivan III of Russia, with the hope of making Russia a Roman Catholic country. This attempt to unite churches failed. Nonetheless, because of this marriage, Moscow began in the next century its imperial policy of Third Rome. Moreover, Thomas' great grandson was Ivan IV of Russia, the first emperor of Russia to be crowned as such. The last known descendant of Zoe Sophia was Maria of Streetza, wife of Livonia's King Magnus. She died in 1610. Family By his marriage with Catherine Zocharia of Akai, Thomas Palaiologos had at least four children Helena Palaiologina, who married despot Lazar II of Serbia, Andrew Palaiologos, who succeeded as claimant to the Byzantine throne, Manuel Palaiologos, Zoe Palaiologina, who married Grand Prince Ivan III of Russia. Ancestry References General, George Spences, The Fall of the Byzantine Empire, Trans. Marios Philippides, Amherst M.A., University of Massachusetts Press, 1980. ISBN 0-87023-290-8, Jonathan Harris, Greek of Permil Migra Copyright S in the West, 1400-1520. Camberley, Porphyro Genitus, 1995. ISBN 1-871328-11 X, Jonathan Harris A Worthless Prince. Andreas Paleologus in Rome, 1465-1502, Orientalia Christiana Periodica 61, 537-54, Donald M. Nicole, The Immortal Emperor, Cambridge University Press, 1992. ISBN 0-521-41456-3 Oxford Dictionary of Byzantium, Oxford University Press, 1991 Stephen Runciman, The Fall of Constantinople 1453, Cambridge University Press, 1965 ISBN 0-521-09573-5 Citations